Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your Avalon Rituals reading for the month of April 2020. I know I'm a bit late but I have a website now and that's what I was focused on. My name is Julia by the way, in case you didn't know. Um, I have a website as I just said, it's www.avalonrituals.com. It just, uh, the launch was just yesterday so I'm super excited and proud to announce that the website is finally online. So if you're interested in a reading or would like to know about the different kind of readings I do, which is basically the tarot and the Lenormand and also a combination of both which I will show you today in this video um, then just jump to the website and have a browse around and if you subscribe to the newsletter then you will get an email uh, confirmation that you are now subscribed with a 10% uh, code of your first port purchase so for the first reading that you are going to order through the website you get the code and get 10% off have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. As I've said, I'm going to use the tarot today and the Lenormand, starting with the tarot. But also, I am going to start this whole experience <laughs> with the singing bowl now. So, if you would like to go directly to your reading, just skip to 2 minutes 30 or 3 minutes. There, you will see the cards lay laid out in front of you. And that's when I'm going to start with the reading for everybody who wants to receive some music, some healing energies. You can close your eyes if you like. Take a deep breath in your belly. And exhale. Take another deep breath. And exhale. Sagittarius, this is your Lena Moore spread. Beautiful 36 cards. One card in this deck is always representing you, and this is the lady in the top corner. So, uh, no matter of your gender, you are the lady, while your love interest, no matter of the gender, is here the male person. So, you are at the beginning. Um, it seems like you are at the beginning of a whole journey. Something starts to move for you. Uh, I do see there is a complicated situation here, uh, or yeah, complications and delays related to work, and um, also stretching out into your home life. Um, there are some uncertainties, some unclarities related to your home life or your immediate environment, which can be the people who are very close to you, your family. Um, we also have the dog here, which talks about trust and friendship. Um, there's quite a lot below you. So there's something like there's something uh, hidden or some knowledge which could relate to a partnership or a contract as this is in the house of partnerships and contracts um, which can also which also relates to a journey so maybe there is something that is not known about a journey this can be an actual journey this can relate to business this can relate to the journey of the soul there might come some knowledge in uh, regarding a friend uh, with this topic here um, let's see where this goes. 
um, you are mirrored onto the, let's say, this can be, as I've said, a secret or knowledge. You are mirrored onto the tower. The tower is talking about here in the top corner. This is um, isolation or the feeling of being alone. It's also about withdrawing in your own tower. And therefore, it can stand for a separation, but also it can stand for uh, being self-employed, being independent. The tower is also a building, uh, a dominant, a dominant building, if you would say it this way. So it could be an official building, it could be a company, um, yeah, something, something in public that is like official. Uh, there is luck onto this situation here which is good. Um, so no matter what this is for you, if this is about your isolation, maybe you are going to learn something which is really beneficial for you during the time of isolation. Again, if this is about your self-employance and your self-independence, I also see there is like knowledge coming in, something coming in, maybe something that was hidden, again, could be a secret. Um, and that is also related here to luck. So let's have a look. Interestingly, your love interest is in the last row. What does it mean? Um, the last row is basically the destiny line. You could see this as the headline of the month. So we have someone you have romantic feelings for um, that could be very powerful or this person is very energetic, has a lot of energy, has a lot of positive energy. Um, there is something, um, it could also mean that there is a strong attraction. There is something coming in that is like a gift, like a present, uh, like a presence. No, present, oh, sorry, German, English. Um, so something comes in here that is maybe even unexpected. Um, also, the size can indicate something coming in very quick and unexpected. Uh, with the flowers, that is something positive. Uh, the scythe, this, um, well, the good thing is, this is on the last, on the last card here, on the last position, which means everything that is on the right side of the scythe is going to be uh, harvested. So, which means there's something beautiful coming in that you can harvest now. Luckily, there's nothing on this side, because that would be what has been taken away. But there is nothing that has been taken away, which is really good. So, again, something with your law of interest that is very positive and um, yeah, powerful, very energetic is going to come in, probably very unexpected or suddenly in this month. Um, having a look around the position that, or your house, this is the position that would be your house. And I see there is a positive change in your life. And also in the house of your love interest, there is love. So there are feelings, there are emotions towards your love interest here or vice versa, the other way around too. Um, when I now follow the card of the heart, I see there is some stress related to your love life, something something about nervousness, stress, maybe even a gossipy type of energy, 1912. Um, the, the gossipy type of energy or the stress is also something that is affecting your life or maybe even your health. Um, let's see. I do feel with the... Okay, let's sort this. Um, the tree leading now to the fish. The fish usually are talking about uh, money. Um, so there is something related. Maybe you're building something long-term-ish uh, that is going to bring you money and finances in. Because the finances are, as I've said, in the house of the tree. And the tree is something that is growing. So it seems like finances are now growing for you and you are able to build something solid that is like um, growing deep in the earth and it's really rooted. And then we go to the sun. So also the sun is talking about, as I've said, a lot of energy. It's luck. It's the good luck. Uh, it's the happiness card. And it's in the, in the, in the field of the fish. 
which indicates again, I do feel like your finances will improve in this month. And this is also leading to you coming out here, you being seen. The moon stands for being recognized, success, it's business success. It's being seen for who you are. So that shines a light onto the topic of the moon and that's really beneficial. We have the luck card here. So from the luck going to the snake, I do see that there is luck uh, onto the situa or on the complicated situation. Basically, whatever delays you have experienced or complications, I do feel they are now quickly like uh, leaving your life. And there is a key moment, there will be success. And this success and key moment is also related to your love interest. So it might even be that the two of you are working together. Um, let's have a look around topic of the partnership here this is partnership and contracts so for those who are not in a relationship who are not in a committed relationship this could indicate contracts or other commitments there is something nagging on you so it might be that there is a, a fear of loss about a contract or a partnership but also um, things will start moving here something might come in a good message coming in. The rider, as you see, there's a rainbow and he, or in, in this case, she is always bringing good news. So there is some good news coming in, which is really nice because that's balancing the mice out. This is also related to A, your love life. So even either you have a love relationship here or if this is about work or other commitments, this is really something that is close to your heart. And I do see there is a strong love a strong love and uh, a new beginning or a positive change in your love life which is also related to this commitment so in this case I do feel for some of you you this is about both uh, work and love um, I feel like for many of you it's um, it's more the love but also for some of you it can indicate contracts in the work area so there were unclarities, uh, uncertainties, fears and doubts about your life that are now clearing out here and the fox, the tricky situation, is leaving your life, um, which is really good. If I follow now the ring, I see, as I've said earlier already, there is something regarding contracts, partnerships, commitments that is hidden. So there might be a knowledge coming in Actually, you're going to talk about this because this card is leading directly to this. So there is talking about some knowledge or something that is hidden, which will also lead to, um, let's see, your strength, your empowerment, um, which also is a karmic situation here. So your strength is related to some past life, some karmic situations um, or life lessons that you have to work through in this life and this is also interestingly we come now to the scythe so the scythe can talk about as i've earlier said the harvest bringing in something but also cutting away something so it might be that some karma is being cut short so maybe you're working on these karmic situations and also around this karmic situation there's clarity, there's success, a new beginning, a decision, also here a transformation, something related to the public with you being independent, um, maybe some nervousness and stress around this but I, if I just see now the karmic card I do feel like you are able to shift a big deal of your karma. Uh, especially with this card as well. It might be that something is shortened in your house or immediate environment. It might be that there's a painful situation or some danger where you have to be careful, very alert to not hurt yourself or someone else. That could be the case. I do see there are some, um, some fights, some arguments or some clearing out of uh, energies and situations, which in general, again, the clearing out card um, is also good because after the clearing out everything is well cleared out. So clearing out of uncertainties, of fears 
and therefore I see there will be new clarity. You will gain new clarity, be able to make a decision. Uh, the decision is leading to a new beginning, a new beginning where you might have to be a little bit mindful about how you get what you want out of the situation. The fox is it is a tricky situation, but it talks also about be uh, clever. The fox is super intelligent. It's a very, very clever animal. So be clever about getting what you want out of a situation, um, which is related to the public. So there's a, situ there's a situation related to the public where you need to be clever about how to get what you want. 43210, which is leading back to the ring and the partnership. So what I'm going to do now is I will um, combine this now with the tarot. There are different methods you can combine the tarot now, different um, layouts. That is what you say in English. But um, just to get a few more details about this reading, I will just lay out uh, 12 more cards just in a row to just get more information about this reading. Wow, judgment. You're breaking free. That's what I, what I saw here. You are breaking free from old beliefs, from old, from old patterns. There's something where you are able to shift something massively. New awakenings and liberations. Wow. Powerful start here. So let's see. Yeah, this is what I saw as well. The communication and clearing out. This is negotiating. In this case, you see two people. Um, Person number one says, yo, this is my side. And this person says, oh, this is my side. How can we find uh, a compromise? Where can we meet? So I do feel um, there is a situation where you will talk about something. It will, could also relate to the fox here. Be clever about how you communicate uh, to get the best out of the deal, out of the situation. Um, also, we have the lovers here, so it can also relate in this sense, um, it can relate to your emotional life. The lovers always are a decision, also a decision um, out of self-love, so what's best for you. Um, but of course, the lovers can stand for a love relationship as well. And as we have seen already, there is really something going on with in your love life here. So... Um, so yeah, it might be that there is a situation yeah, where you can break free from something um, negotiating here. Uh, this can indicate, as I've said, the whole topic of relationships and your love relationship. With the Five of Pentacles, it might be that there is a feeling of being left outside, that something is not reaching you. Um, which could be the communication that is going on, where you have to yeah, communicate, negotiate and talk about things in order to, to get the positive change. Um, say only yes when you really want to. Uh, don't overburden yourself with too many tasks and responsibilities. That's an in general advice, no matter for what area of your life. Um, because you are about to liberate yourself, right? So you don't want to... You're just about to let go of some things that are really uh, good for you to let go of. Um, so don't overburden yourself straight away. And this is also the card of Six of Swords. It's about... You, you're moving away from a situation. You're moving away from a situation and into a better future. So very much in alignment with the other cards so far. Um, the Queen of Swords, so this could be an air sign uh, or this could be you or someone else with the qualities of the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is someone who's very independent, very... Um, she knows her worth, uh, she doesn't take any shit, she's cutting herself off everything that is not beneficial for her and uh, I do feel like this is you. Um, you you have gone through a lot and I do feel especially with this card it's super powerful and also the cards around the karmic situation here I do feel like you're break you are making massive 
progress and process and the breaking free from old patterns, from old beliefs, from a lot of weight from the past. And wow, you are on the right path. The star card is literally the message of new hope, a new beginning and that you are on the right path. So that's really, really good. A good confirmation for you. Something about balance and also patience. <laughs> so some things just need a bit of patience. Um, also talks about balance, a balance of your mind, your emotion, a balance also in general in life. And the temperance card is always um, a reminder of, of, of simply being patient. Some things you just can't speed up. Which is interesting because now we have the Eight of Pentacles and that's a steady progress and process. It's like you are working on something here and you're very focused on the work and that's really, really great. But also this card is like you can't speed up things. You, sometimes you need to do A, B, C in order to get to D and there is no other way. But if you try to jump from A to D, you might fall back onto A. And so it's important that you... Uh, don't jump over steps and just really steady, keep focusing, uh, stay focused and keep working. The hanged man. This is about seeing things from a different perspective. You will gain new insights and clarity about a situation, seeing things from a different perspective. Also very much reminds me here of the judgment where you have a new awakening. So um, again, seeing things from a different perspective, getting new insights and um, yeah. So let's see, Sagittarius, what is the last card for you for the month of April 2020? There is a moon. Okay, the moon, I feel like in this case the moon says don't get distracted from your past. Uh, path. Keep staying focused in the middle. Don't get distracted too much to the left or to the right. Just stay focused on your path. And um, focus on your work, focus on your path. Uh, don't let anything get you out of balance. It's very important for you to stay focused now and to really focus your goal, visualize your goal and just go for it. And as I've said, with the Queen of Swords, anything that is really taking your energy, just don't do it. It's important that you really go for it and are really focused now. If you like the reading and if you resonated with it, please let me know in the comments below or give me a like or subscribe to the channel. And um, as I've said, if you want your own personal readings, I do personal readings just Go to the website, drop me a message here or on Instagram or through the website if you have any questions. And I'm sending you so much love and have a beautiful, amazing day.